Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you and today we're going to be taking a look at the latest Asus BTF update. Now I know I'm slightly darker but it's just so that we've got the definition showing in the products uh, and I'm sure you'd rather lose me rather than the uh, lovely beautiful white products being uh, bleached out just so that you can get to see me better. Now one of the problems with BTF before, although it, the Asus BTF uh, sort of design is better aesthetically than the other brands because there are no GPU visible GPU connectors at all the limitation in that was you needed a very specific BTF motherboard with the connector on it and you needed that obviously so you had the connectors around the back but then you also needed a BTF graphics card with this slot on it uh, as well. Now you could put a normal graphics card in there, that was absolutely fine, but you couldn't put a BTF graphics card in a non-BTF board. And it meant that sideways upgrading and moving things on and to your friends and that sort of thing, it made it very limiting. Now, as I've said, the Asus BTF graphics card is the the best, the most aesthetically pleasing way of doing it because you have no cables whatsoever on show and it does look amazing and it doesn't matter. Like I sit beside one of the other brands in my own personal rig, but the Asus way of doing things aesthetically is just better. But it just meant that the connector was the limiting factor. What they have done now with the GC HP WR connector is open things up to a completely different level because you can now just remove it if you don't want it to go into a BTF board and it does come with a normal 12 pin connector and the uh, GC connector on the back meaning you get the best of both worlds. Now straight away, I know there are going to be a selection of you out there because of the 12 pin connector problems that we've had in the past and you're going to be worried about them burning out and it's just going to set off alarm bells. That connector is capable of a thousand watts, which means it's more than capable of being able to carry the power required for a 5090 with a huge overclock without any problems whatsoever. It does make me kind of wonder why NVIDIA might not have gone that route with the connector in the front. But we will uh, move past that. So you can just add the connector in and remove it depending on the board that you want to put it in. Now this is actually the old system that I uh, built for Asus a while ago. Just to show you that I've now removed the old graphics card, put the new one in and it has worked absolutely fine. It's gone in straight away, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But there is also now the new Tough B850 uh, motherboard, which does mean that there is an AMD graphics card, a uh, graphics card, there is an AMD BTF board finally available. Um, you obviously get all the connectors around the back as normal. You get the white BTF goodness. AMD socket, it's going to keep everyone happy because let's face facts, if we're building a new custom rig right now, we are more than likely going to be using a AMD processor rather than one of the Intel 200 series. Um, obviously, there are going to be those of you out there with one, but custom builders at the moment, predominantly in large waves, are just moving to AMD uh, based on the socket, the CPU performance. It was just a night and day reason why and Asus needed to catch up and they've finally done it. So with the uh, system itself, thousand watts through it, absolutely no problem. I do need to say the words BTF 2.5 because it is, this is the second iteration plus a little shimmy upwards because the uh, actual removable connector was kind of a half step. Now, one of the things I did want to say uh, about the graphics card itself was it does come with a connector to cover up the 12 pin that is visible. I'm going to say that for me personally, 
with the resources that ACES have available, they should have done a better job of that uh, cover because that could have been made by anyone. And I just don't think it's uh, premium enough for such a premium product. Uh, a lot of people or ACES might shout at the fact that if you were to make a lovely cover for it, it would cover up the uh, BIOS mode switch that is on there. But I don't know about you, I don't really touch my BIOS switch very often. And if I had to remove a simple cover to be able to do it, it wouldn't bother me because it would be covered up beautifully. And I genuinely do think that is the one thing aesthetically letting this down. Now I will say when I saw this at Computex, there wasn't a cover on it at all. So it's had a minor upgrade, but it needs a big upgrade from this anyway, just to tidy things up and finish that premium look off. It's kind of like having a cherry bake well without the cherry on the top. Doesn't matter how good the cake tastes, the cherry on the top is normally the bit that everyone's looking for. I know there's gonna be people that don't, but that's why it works. So, beautiful uh, upgrade for this, making the limitation of the connector uh, a thing of the past, but obviously it's only with new graphics cards sadly, but it will work for those of you out there that are investing now. You do have a uh, tough gaming uh, B850 option, so an AMD motherboard option available to you now as well. Now I'm gonna put the uh, click link underneath so you can go to the website, you can see the 1000 watt uh, white tough power supply that I have in this, the case specifications, and you can go and see the full mumbo jumbo over on the site if you want to have a look. And you can also head over to the Tiny Tom Logan Facebook or the Tiny Tom Logan uh, Instagram if you'd like to see some more up close stuff of the actual rig itself, but it wasn't built specifically for this. We wanted to just do a graphics card upgrade because that is what someone at home would have done. It was uh, time that we wanted a nice, uh, GPU upgrade, so we've upgraded to the 5070 Ti, and that was all we needed, because all the frames are still there, we, well we've got lots more frames, and it means that we've got the clean look, but we've also got the ability that if we were to uh, sell the graphics card on later on, it will work for everyone. So, all of the lovely, lovely goodness, lots of white loveliness, I'm not sure why it went off. I think it's probably just because it didn't have a um, motherboard, sorry, it didn't have a keyboard and everything connected and it's been on the desk for a few minutes and with me chatting. But anyway, this has been the tiniest one with another video for you. Out.